Is it still possible to get a 4% interest rate on your mortgage in today's market? The answer is yes. Hi, my name is Andre. I am a loan officer in Fresno, California. And today I want to show you one of the options how you can get a 4% interest rate. As you know, rates consistently move up and down, up and down. Starting last year, the rates have been moving up consistently every month. We peaked around October timeframe at about 7.3% interest rate. Current rates at the end of February right now are between 6 to 7% depending on the loan type, your credit score and the type of down payment you have. So how can you get a 4% interest rate? By utilizing a, pro a program called 2-1 buy down. That's a 2-1 buy down. What is it? A 2-1 buy down program is a program that offers to reduce your qualifying interest rate for the first two years of your mortgage, where within the first year, the rate goes down by 2%. And then within the second year, it goes down by 1%. And then for the third year, you go back to your original qualifying interest rate. Let's take a look at an example so we can uh, practically see how it works. In this example, we have a loan amount at 300,000. Now remember, this is a loan amount, not a purchase price. Let's say you wanna buy a house at 400,000 you have 100,000 saved up in your bank, you put it as a down payment, so your loan is at 300,000. Your current rate, based on your credit score, the loan type and the down payment, you're, you qualify at 6% interest rate. You have a 30-year mortgage and your monthly payment is gonna be 1799, 1799 for the next 30 years. Now, as we mentioned, for the first year of your mortgage, the rate will be reduced by 2% when you go with a 2-1 buy-down program. So, 4% is going to be your first year interest rate. Okay, We still have a 30-year mortgage and your payment is going to be $1,432. So for the first 12 months, you will be paying 1432. Now, the second year, second year, the interest drops only by 1%. So now your interest rate is at 5%. We still have a 30-year mortgage, and now your payment is 1610, 1600 and ten dollars okay now if you take a look at the difference between what your payment should have been and what you are going to be paying we have a difference of three hundred and sixty seven dollars okay so the lender will be receiving three hundred and sixty seven dollars less than what you're supposed to be paying okay now if we multiply that by 12 we have 4,397. That's a shortage for the first year. If we take a look at the second year difference, we have a difference of $188. Okay, you, you're supposed to be paying $17.99, but you're paying $16.10. The difference is $188 times 12 we have two thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars difference okay for the for the second 12 months now if you add these two together four thousand three ninety seven and two thousand two fifty eight we have a shortage of six thousand six hundred and fifty five dollars Okay, so the lender is short of $6,655. Uh, now, who is going to pay for it? 
And the best thing about this program is that this is going to come from the seller as the seller's credit. You know that a seller can offer a credit towards the closing cost. But also a seller can offer a credit towards the buying down the interest rate. Okay, so at the time of writing an offer, you will request a seller's credit in the amount of $6,655. And by giving this credit, what the lender is going to do is the lender is going to take this amount and put it in, in a separate escrow account. So in reality, when you are making your payment of $1,432 the first year, the $367, which is the difference of what you should have been paying, is going to be coming from a separate escrow account where this amount is going to be stored for 24 months. Okay, Because for the first 12 months, the lender is going to draw $367 from this account, and then for the second 12 months, they are going to be drawing 188. They will be receiving 1610 from you as you're making your monthly payments. And they will be taking 188 from the separate uh, account that they established. Okay. And then for the third year, you are going to go back to your qualifying rate of 6%. And now you're going to start making payment of 1799 every month. Now, the question is, what is the benefit to the seller? Why would the seller offer you $6,600 as a credit? There's two benefits for the seller. Benefit number one is it eliminates a need of reducing the sales price. Let's say that the seller is trying to sell a house for $450,000 and the house has been sitting on the market for a while. Instead of reducing the sales price, the seller may offer a seller's credit for the rate buy down or maybe for the uh, closing cost. But in our case, it's the rate buy down. Okay. The second benefit for the seller is that they can sell the house faster by offering this uh, a credit. When rates went up, those buyers that qualified at three, four, uh, uh, maybe 5% interest rate, now all of a sudden they don't qualify so the seller can't sell the house uh, to those buyers which means the house is sitting on the market longer okay but by offering the seller's credit now they have an option of moving the house uh, faster moving the inventory faster okay. now what are the benefits for the buyer well the obvious benefit is that for the first two years um, there's a lower uh, interest rate and uh, a lower monthly payment. Now, you can still refinance. Um, let's say the uh, interest rates went down after one year and you know that uh, for the second year, your rate is going to go up from 4% to 5%. But let's say the rates went down. Now you can refinance your um, house and uh, lock in the lower interest rate for the whole duration of the mortgage for 30 years or 15 or 20 years or whatever you decide. One thing I forgot to mention is that you still have to qualify based on your current market rate. You cannot qualify uh, based on the reduced uh, interest rate. Okay, These are the uh, guidelines based on your credit score, based on the down payment, loan type, you have to qualify at a current rate and then the reduced rate will apply uh, uh, towards your mortgage. Okay. I hope you found a benefit in a 2-1 buy down. Um, this program is also called temporary buy down because it's for a short period of time, two years. Uh, there's also a program uh, available 3-1 buy down or 3-2-1 buy down. Uh, but in any case, if you have any questions, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My information is going to be on the screen and in the description of this video. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.